Hello and welcome to After Sound Review and this is my review for Will Sound Dewa. First of all, thank you for Will Sound ID for providing me with this review unit. And I should say that it's quite rare for me to review earbuds, but nevertheless, just like usual, I will review them from the build, fit, frequency, response, sound, and comparison. This Will Sound Dewa actually have two variants, and one is using copper cable and the other is using silver cable. As for the build quality for this Will Sound earbud, for me, it's just a normal earbud. I don't feel anything special from it. It's made of plastic for sure and the name itself is already almost finished in my uh, demo unit. But the cable itself, it feels really good. It's smooth and it's quite flexible. And I don't know, for me somehow the cable itself is the, is the one part that looks much more expensive in this earbud rather than the housing of the earbud itself. As for the fit for this earbud, the ergonomics is just like your usual earbuds, it doesn't have any strange thing to report to inform you. It's just your usual earbuds and I should say that the cable itself is really good, it's flexible and it's non-microphonics. This one is the copper while the green one is the silver. So as you could see, they both have elevation in the base area, especially around the mid base. And then even though the copper one has bigger mid base, but the thing is, you could also see that there's more peak in the upper mid range in the copper rather than the silver one. So that's interesting and some of you might will ask how is it compared to the very legendary Fido earbuds. So the legendary Fido earbuds has very non-offensive kind of sound as you could see. It has same mid bass elevation but it has more rolls of uh, sub bass but after that the upper mid range to travel area is more rolled off so i'm sure that a lot of you will find that the video earbud is more relaxed sounding compared to these two okay so for the sound of these earbuds um still i can categorize them as v-shape but not your usual v-shape where the main emphasis is more on the bass and also treble but these two uh, the main emphasis are on the bass and also the upper mid range but nevertheless it still create this kind of gap that hollowness from the lower mid range makes them sounds kind of v-ish sometimes and after that the treble are both rolled off and the most difference uh, i can found in these two are from the mid-range itself where the Dewa Copper is actually it's more uh, thicker sounding compared to this uh, Dewa Silver. The Silver one has less body especially in the mid-range area but the Copper one has more shouty mid-range so it's quite unique where the where this Copper one is just like the Copper suggests it has bigger bass and also thicker mid bass while this one is more on the leaner side but still bassy i can feel that but compared to the copper one it's leaner sounding and more bright okay from the bass area these both have big bass i should tell you that but they are more on the mid bass rather than the sub bass so it's more suitable for edms and such uh, top 40 pop tracks for me you won't ever miss the bass the bass notes is thick and it's not really fast so if you're a fan of rock music i wouldn't recommend you to try them because the bass is quite slow and also the mid-range is uh, where the mixed things are because the main emphasis is more on the upper mid-range rather than the rather than a balanced sounding i uh sound in the mid-range they are both have that kind of shoutiness in it for example when i play daughtry like a superman for me they are both sound shouty but it's more worse in the copper somehow while the silver ones even though it's thinner it's less shouty and when i try to play woman uh female vocals like for example joyce Chu or diana crawl or Olivia Ong, they both uh, are more suitable for female vocals because they are more forward, especially in the upper mid range, rather than the lower mid range. So yeah, 
like I said, they are both more suitable for female vocals, but there's a catch. Also, the upper treble, it's not really airy, so if you like uh, an airy female vocals, you won't really get there. It's just a forward female vocals. And also, when I hear male vocals like Josh Groban or Il Divo, it will sound quite recessed and not really full bodied. So yeah, even though it has big bass, you will uh, find that they are both quite thick in sounding overall, but the mid-range area is not full bodied. Also the treble area, mm, even though it is much clearer and more uh, present in the silver ones, they are both more into a uh, rolled off treble area. So if you are a fan of high treble for violins or for some upper cymbal crash, you won't get them here. It's just a smooth treble area but and not really extended. As for the technicalities, I should say that they both have big soundstage with great depth. So it's uh, really suitable for live music. But on the minor side, they don't really have a good separation level. But let me tell you that at this price point, around 50 bucks, I have never tried any earbuds that I could consider a good in separation level so yeah for you who have ever tried this will sound your buds will sound 32 and will sound 16 or maybe anything like that for me these are their best products yet it still have this kind of a uh, basic signature no matter what kind of sound you throw at them but the copper one is more bassy compared to the silver one but here's the thing there's somehow strange pick around the mid-range that for me even though the copper one sounds more thick and full but the shoutiness is more prominent in there so I actually prefer the silver one even though it sounds thinner but for me the upper mid-range is more balanced but nevertheless I could sim I simply still categorize them as somehow v-shaped ish earbud with treble roll off and the main focus is on the bass and also upper mid-range